Welcome to Chris Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you the British Army BCB stove with some tips and tricks. So this is the British Army BCB stove, they're cheap enough to buy a few, one for your each bag, um, you can have one in the car, one for your day bag, one for your overnight bag, they're literally two to four quid, very very cheap. Now what you get is a little folding stove, you get your back wind deflector, now it does sit out, that faces the outside. You put your solid fuel tablet, which is made to take these BCB Fire Dragon fuel tabs. Now you just undo that, pop it in there, quick strike off your flint and steel, your ferro, I'm sorry, your ferro rod, fold it up, you've got a nice fire there. You get a, a boil of around 300 to 400 mil water, what I've found, not enough to cook on usually. But with a few little mods, I'll show you what you can do. So, that's your BCB fuel. Um, I've found the cheapest places go outdoors. If you've got a discount card, I also have my Scout discount, so I'll get a little bit more off. So that's in its standard form. It does fit three tablets. So you've got three burns there. So you pop that open, put your windshield back on top. And there you've got a nice little compact lightweight stove. Now, what you can do, if you look at these lips, what holds the Fire Dragon fuel, they bend down. There's no cutting involved. It's literally two thumbs. Go careful that you don't cut yourself and bend them down into shape. And what it allows you to do is fit a Trangia style stove. Now, this is a titanium boundless voyage stove with the trivet, as you can see there nice and flush it does work without the pot stand but i do find the pot stand that adds adds a lot of rigidity i'll just show you with a transia i'll just show you where it's bent down as well so these will bend back into place how many bends it takes i don't know now i have used it with it bent down with the fuel tab and it works exactly the same no no difference so that's the titanium stove by boundless voyage then there's a transia pattern. So you pop it in, fold her up, and you have roughly a two centimeter gap, so it's very efficient. You see there? And just to show you, with the trivet on pot stand. And that's it with the transier. It's the same, same height. If not, it's even sturdier with the transier in. But the only thing I found with the transier, obviously it's heavier than the titanium. It's only got a single, uh, single round row of jets. Whereas the, the titanium boundless voyage one, it allows you to sit the pot on top because it has the inner ring of jets on an angle which allows you to sit your pot on top, plus it has the outer ring. And then when you snuff the top ones out, you're getting a slower burn and more efficiency with the outer ring. So I would, I mean, it weighs 10 grams, 15 grams. It's so light. The only thing is you can't dampen your flame or control the flame, do you know, with the additional lids and stuff. But for boiling water and cooking Warming MREs up or freeze dried meals, absolutely perfect. It weighs nothing. But yeah, that's it with the Trangia. Windproof, bends really well, very efficient. If It's so much more efficient than having a windshield and stuff. Um, do you know, you ch 
typical way I've made them out of tin foil or a baking tray. Yeah, very efficient. Plus, you've got the option of burning your Fire Dragon tabs. When they run out, you could switch over to alcohol. So yeah, I hope it gives you some ideas there for probably one of the best, cheapest multi-stoves. Um, as for burning wood, it wouldn't be very efficient, but it'd be doable. So yeah, you've got a nice little three-in-one stove there. Even Esbit tablets, four-in-one. So yeah, I hope it sparks some ideas there. If you do like what you see, please like, share and subscribe. I'm on the way to a thousand followers. Thanks a lot.